So let's just save this. And let's just finish up by looking at a few of the other sites which I've been working on recently, which also use panels everywhere in this sort of way. So let's first look at uh, this one, which is um, a Photoshop design which I did. And it's been cut up and put straight into panels everywhere in just the sort of way which I've outlined. So we've got a header up the top that stretches the whole distance. So it's like a fluid width header with no margin, no width. Inside there is another header which holds this logo um, and it keeps it in, it's got a width of 960 again and a margin of auto on the left and the right. We then have uh, our menu which is a sort of cutout menu placed into the image menu. Um, we have our title, body and then the footer giving this sort of ripped off country look at the bottom. Uh, the footer is again, this is just another mini panel. Um, we can see it's got three different columns, but it's actually been made so the columns are all slightly different size to suit the content. Um, this again, this you're looking at a different template through panels here. Um, and these are all the same template pages. We've got location and directions and meet the team. Um, here this follows the similar sort of template. Um, but it's got what we do and all the what we do content type pages are listed here in this in this menu. Um, we then got the gallery, which which follows a slightly different um, a slightly different template. When you click on these, it's just shadow box which opens them up. Um, and the contact us follows a very slightly different template again. All it's got really is the body text and also the, the web form placed in there. Now something quite nice on this site which I've started doing more and more is I've added a dashboard which means that you use panels and panels everywhere to create uh, two different looks one for anonymous users and one for authenticated users. So for example we have a new content type called sign in page or dashboard. When we log in we go to a new a page that's been themed. It's called Dashboard. We can see up in the URL, and it's got Sign into Nature's Magic here. So, if we sign in, we see the same page, but we see it from the point of view of uh, an editor or an authenticated user. So, for example, our editors come along. They want to edit the site. They click on Login. They see the anonymous page. They type their username and their password, and then they come through to the same page, but it's themed for a different role. It's themed for their editor role. So this is really good for creating an easy to manage site for your clients because quite often they don't want to be clicking around in long content um, areas. They don't want to be lost within their own site. If they've got um, something like this that they can always come back to, it really helps out with the easiness of managing the site. So we've got a bit of help text here, um, who they can contact if they are having problems. Uh, then on the Panels Everywhere system we add these links in so they can log out at any time and they can also go straight back to my dashboard at any time. So if they're off doing something else, they're editing this for example, uh, they can then click my dashboard and it'll take them straight back to their sort of home page. Uh, we've also, in this site, we've themed the um, node add edit forms. So, for example, if we click on add a photo, it's themed in the same way as the dashboard page. So, although these are two different templates, one's for the node add edit and one's just for the dashboard page, they look the same, which gives a uh, consistency, which most of the time it adds reassurance to your, to your users because they think that... Um, you know they can still get to everything here so they can use this to add new photos to the website and they can also use it to manage photos this is just a view they can delete photos edit the photos see them bigger um, they can narrow the photos down so that it only, only shows particular animals and so they find that they can manage the site a lot easier with this sort of setup because there's always 
uh, an easy way to, to find your way around. So let's log out of that one. We'll go to the next one. This is another, this is one that I was working on at this moment. Um, with the panels everywhere and the Photoshop, it really allows you to um, design sites exactly how you want them to be seen. So you can you can use full page, nice watercolory backgrounds if you want to. You can add textures in to the general um, pages, and you can add footers in which have images and that stretch across the whole page. It really allows you to um, design design well. So the next site is for uh, a fishery site. Um, it has a similar sort of. This is all done with panels and panels everywhere. It has a similar sort of thing because all of each page is themed in a different way, so that you can have different elements on different pages. Uh, we can check out different matches on here. Uh, we have different views, um, outputting um, various different information for the for the fishery customers. Um, we also have about us sections um, where people can read all about the different lakes and this again is all themed in different ways with panels and panels everywhere. Um, this also has a sort of dashboard area this isn't quite finished yet but it also has a dashboard area where you can log in uh, and you can and then you have your edit dashboard here where you have edit tasks where you can for example add a news entry themed in a similar way so that you when you add a news entry you have title photos the lake name the text add a match it is all themed in the same sort of way so that it's easy to manage So the last thing I want to mention is something which I forgot earlier, which was how can you create, where do you start from, how can you create this colour here. Um, this site and most of my sites are built using the Precision theme, which is a theme built spe specifically for panels everywhere. And when you change that theme, you can change the background colours quite easily. Um, for example, I'm looking at the CSS file, which I've heavily changed from Precision, and on the first body bit, this background here, this is the thing which you change to change this background text. So for example, if I'm selecting the background text, and I've got body here, for example, we can make that very dark black, or white uh, or red for example so I hope you've enjoyed the screencast um, and good luck with all your designs